Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the week of the 19th through the 25th of December 2021. I hope you guys are doing really well. I do want to take just a second to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, and if that is the case for you, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements. Um, a lot of my listeners do that anyway. It just gives them a bigger and more rounded picture, um, which is actually very smart. Um, if you would like a personal reading, the directions are in the uh, box beneath this video. And also keep in mind that in a general reading, the energies can reverse or flip-flop. That also is not at all unusual. So let's go ahead and get started, Scorpio. Spirit, can I have the energy of Scorpio? Scorpio. Okay. So you're chatty. You're chatty this week, Scorpio. All right, we have the Two of Swords. We have the Chariot in reverse. And then coming out together, we have the Queen of Wands along with the Three of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so you're tired of waiting for something here. There's a desire for you to take action, but I feel like um, at the same time you're feeling stuck. You're, there's a decision that needs to be made. Perhaps you feel that you don't have quite enough information um, and you don't want to make a decision blindly. Um, I also think you're pretty guarded here. You are um, definitely trying to make a head over heart decision and you know you're guarding your emotions, you're guarding your heart, but as a result it's kind of keeping you stuck and I can see that you are definitely tired of waiting. Um, there's a desire to take action. Now that being said, you are showing up as being extremely attractive, um, if not impatient. Um, to others um, so you definitely have a sensuality about you right now and you know people are going to be very drawn towards you so you know that's a very positive thing but there's a sense of being stuck wanting to move forward wanting to move forward in a triumphant and you know victorious way but yet being stuck okay and there's an impatience with regard to it so let's see who you are connecting with here. Who is Scorpio connecting with Spirit? Who is Scorpio connecting with? All right. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Wands in the reverse. All right, well, whoever it is that you're connecting with, um, they would like a new beginning in love with you. This is somebody who's being very patient, though. They feel that they have invested in this connection with you, and they're being very patient about this. Um, and I feel like this is the decision that you are trying to make, Scorpio. Yeah, I do feel like this is the decision you're trying to make. Um, this would be somebody that there's been, either they've been conflicted about this in the past or you've had conflict with them. But regardless, the conflict is over. So um, regardless if it was internal conflict or if it was conflict with you, that conflict is over. It's done. It feels more like it was internal conflict. Um, but they're being very patient about this. Let's see the energy of the connection. That'll tell us more. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, overcoming problems. So it could have been conflict between the two of you because the connection, um, the two of you have overcome some problems here. What's directly affecting this connection? The Knight of Cups. So there has been an offer of love. Yeah, this is your decision, Scorpio. 
So if there hasn't been an offer of love, there's a desire for it. Okay, what is the outcome at the end of the week? Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so there might be communication about um, somebody being single and available. Or you might be just double checking to be sure that this person is single and available. But they are showing up as single. They definitely are. I feel like you may question that, though. You may not be sure about that. Because there's, a, there's an element here of you doing some research, doing a, a little bit of checking on them, making sure. You may be um, making sure that they are financially, you know, capable of having this connection. Um, it, it could just be that you're just doing, doing your due diligence here on this person. But it appears that they are in a good situation. Um, they definitely want something with you and they are showing up as single and financially stable, very independent. Yeah, they're showing up as a catch. All right, so bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. This is underlying energy and it does indicate to me that, you know, this is a offer that may have been out there and somebody hasn't really acknowledged it. So this may be somebody, Scorpio, that you have known for a minute and maybe didn't recognize that this could be the opportunity that it is. Um, maybe somebody wasn't really, either you or the other person wasn't really looking at the other person as being either available or as being um, somebody that they could really have this connection with. So there was a sense of not really appreciating the value of what this could become. So that's underlying energy here, but it looks like that may be changing. Let's, um, yeah, it's almost like there's a friendship here that has been invested in. And you're trying to decide, Scorpio, if you want to move that forward. If you want to move that forward into something more. Either that or they are. All right, let's, uh, let's um, clarify. Why is the Two of Swords here? Because you're the one who has a decision to make, but I feel like you're avoiding it a little bit. And that's what's slowing this down. Alright, so we have the Hangman and we have the Queen of Wands. Now you're showing up down here as the Queen of Wands, which I do have to say for a water sign, that's a little bit unusual. But I am seeing that. Um, I did Pisces reading and Pisces also was showing up as a, a fire sign. Um, I believe it was Pisces. So it's unusual for a water sign to show up as a fire sign because they're, you know, so very different. But you are the one that's slowing this down. So I feel like there is definitely an attraction here. And you are really um, coming across, especially to this person, as being voluptuous and attractive and seductive. Um, they, they are very drawn to you. This is how they're seeing you. And you, you have... You're slowing this down. I think it's your decision, Scorpio. I think you're thinking about it. You're trying to decide what you want to do here. Why is the chariot in reverse? Why is the chariot in reverse? King of Swords in reverse. And Judgment. You might be dealing with a air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, but somebody here is angry. So somebody's angry, they want a reconciliation, and that's why 
you're feeling stuck. It doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign. It could be somebody that has air in their chart. It could also be you, um, you know, coming out here with this, this energy. Um, it also could be that you have called judgment on a situation and that's, uh, it's, you're, you're a little angry about a situation. And so you're, you're stopping this from moving forward. So I don't know if something may have occurred between the two of you. There's obviously some problems that are being overcome. There's been some conflict. So that's why this is stuck. That's why it's slowed down. Um, and you're waiting. You're waiting. Why? Let's look at the bottom energy. Now for some of you... Um, you may have kind of been waiting in the wings here. Um, there could have been competition, and you may not be happy about that situation. This person could have had the opportunity to be with you and, you know, not chosen you and been with someone else. And so you may not be happy about that situation. Now they may be coming back in, and you're, you're like, I, you know what, you're going to wait now. All right, so we have the Five of Cups. We have the Nine of Coins. Now, this is in your outcome as well. And here again, we have the Four of Cups. Okay, so, yeah, you're single. You're coming out here as single. Um, and you've been very sad. You've been sad about this. So, I feel like you were not being recognized here. You were not being treated in the manner that you, you should have been treated. There's a sense here that this person had you waiting. This person had you waiting. They didn't, they didn't recognize the value of this connection. And so, what did you do? Well, you just worked on yourself. You made yourself... A, a catch. You made yourself attractive. You are prosperous in and of your own right. You're, I mean, people are very attracted to you. Um, I do feel like this person, this person is also very attracted to you. So while they may be coming across as a catch, you definitely are a catch. I mean, you're walking out into the world as this Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands is somebody that is very attractive. And, and for that matter, so is the, the Nine of Coins. Nine of Coins is someone who is independent. You know, they, not only are they attractive, but they are, you know, someone that is independent and has made their own way. But it came at a price. It came with a lot of sadness involved here. And, you know, there could have been some third-party energy. This person may have tried to make you a third party. You may have been a third party at some point. But I do feel that the person you're involved with over here had you waiting. And I feel like you may not be happy about that. You felt very stuck. So while you have feelings for this person, I do feel that you're not happy about that situation. So let's look at their energy. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Okay, so we have Justice in Reverse, Sign of Libra. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles Reverse. Now, here they have the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. So in the past, they were not investing. In the past, they, they, you know, were holding back. They weren't investing in the connection. And, and they knew that what they were doing here was, you know, it was improper. There was something that was not being done correctly. And it had to do with their lack of investment in the connection. But now they're wanting this new beginning. Now they're, they're willing to invest. Why well, is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah. Two of Swords reversed. Three of Swords. 
And so for some of you, there was a third party. And they've decided now, they've made a decision to invest. Um, but it's, it's been a very painful decision. They, there was a, there's heartbreak attached to this decision. So I do, I feel like they had you waiting, Scorpio. Um, and I don't think you were happy about this. You felt very stuck. Um, this person, they, there is pain associated with this, but now they are wanting to invest. They've made the decision to invest. Um, why is the Five of Wands in reverse? Mm. Ten of Swords and the Sun. There was a realization that they had betrayed they had betrayed you. There was a, a painful ending here. And I do think that there was conflict between the two of you. For some, there was competition. Um, for most, in fact. And there was a painful ending. A very painful ending in which this person realizes that there was a betrayal involved. And I do feel like that conflict ended in betrayal. Um... I feel like you kind of, you stood your ground, Scorpio. You you put the brakes on this. And this person decided that you were their happiness. So now they want to invest. Now they want to try to put things right and, you know, have this new beginning with you. But I think that you are, um, now it's your decision. And you might be... You might be what making them wait. Because you've waited a long time. So now it's your decision. There was a lot of sadness for you in this. Alright, so let's see. Let's see why the um, Seven of Wands is here in reverse. Death in reverse and the Ten of Coins. Okay, so you're not done with the situation, um, but you are waiting for it to, to transition. You're not going to accept it unless it is something long term. Um, and they are trying to bring forth something long term. That's, uh, that is what they are trying to bring forward with this Ace of Cups. So, they are serious about this, but you, you're going to demand that it transition into that. You're not going to accept what was in the past. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? I don't think this connection is over, though. I do see the two of you overcoming these obstacles and problems. And it's because this person is now willing to, you know, offer something to you. All right, we have the star and we have the ace of wands. Yeah. So you're, you're getting what it is that you hoped for, Scorpio. Your, your hopes are coming true. And it, your hopes were to have this offer of love. It's coming. It's coming. That's what's going to um, affect this connection. Um... There is a lot of passion here, and there is love. So it's not just the sex. It's not just the passion. There is also love, um, and I feel like it's that it's going to come in in the form. Uh, there will be a sexual component to it because this person is very, very attracted to you sexually as well. Um, but there is love here. It's not just the sex. So... I do feel like the connection is going to be healing, and I also feel like the offer of love that you're hoping for is coming forward. Okay, so let's um, let's look at the outcome. All right, so we have the nine of swords. The Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Coins. Yeah, so you're worried though. 
Okay, so what you're worried about, Scorpio, is you're worried about whether or not this offer is actually coming forward, if it's legit, if this person is actually single. Um, yeah, and that's valid, okay? Um, it is. The offer is coming forward. It is going to be slow. Things are going to move slowly. Um, what I can see here in the cards is that there is passion, a lot of passion. They have two of the aces here. They have ace of cups. They have ace of wands. Um, so there definitely is love and there definitely is passion, which is what you're hoping for. And they are going to make this offer. Um, what I am seeing, though, is that you are going to do your research on this and you're going to move slowly. You're going to move very slowly with this because there's anxiety attached to this. There's um, concern. There's worry. It's like, um, you know, you were held off for so long. And now you want to make sure that everything is legit. So you're going to do, you're going to do your due diligence here. The person you're connected with, they have some concerns. They have some worries as well. Um, and those concerns and worries are how to build this foundation with you how to, you know, seal the deal as it were. But they are definitely coming in. So, and I do feel like, um, you know, they're serious about it. Bottom of the deck, again, we have the Three of Wands in the reverse. So, you know, you're, you're moving from a period where there was a lack of, um, there was a lack of, commitment, a lack of, you know, appreciation of this connection into an impatience to move the connection forward. And so I do feel, and this is shared energy, so I, I feel like your person is going to be more impatient than you are, but I think that you would also like to move it forward, but you're not going to go quickly because you're guarded. So, and I don't blame you from what I'm seeing in the cards. All right, so I'm going to pull from the um, Hidden Truth Oracles just to round out your reading, Scorpio. But honestly, it looks like you're getting what it is that you have been hoping and wishing for. It just looks like it's been a long time in coming. Okay, so... On your side, it says, so many things remind me of you. So this person is on your mind a lot. A lot of things um, in your life remind you of this person. And the person who is in your life, the cross watcher, says, I knew exactly what I was doing. So, and they did. I mean, this person realizes that by not investing in this connection that they had done something wrong. They also realize that there was betrayal here. So, you know, the, the conflict has ended, but keep in mind that this person knew exactly what they were doing. All right. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you, Scorpio. It does look like there is going to be a resolution of some of these problems, and you are going to get what it is that you wished for. Um, it's going to be your choice, though, and I see you kind of slowing that choice down, taking your time, and I don't blame you. I hope this is, uh, this is helpful for you in your decision. So if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you will do so. I would appreciate it, and um, like and share the video. If you would like to drop a comment, um, you're more than welcome to do so. I read all of them. Until I see you next week, namaste.